What's up guys, once more it is I, your favourite idiot worker, here with another subpar video for you to devour. Today I want to tell you a little bit about why I love the Pajama Sam series of games. Today I'll be using footage from my stream for this video, so I apologise for the unprofessional look with my cam over here, my follow goal up there, and for some clips my random monokuma PNG down in this corner. But what is Pajama Sam, you may ask? Pajama Sam is a series of point-and-click edutainment games made by Humongous Entertainment. It had four main games and a few spin-offs and focused on six-year-old Sam, who was obsessed with superhero Pajama Man. We dive into his imagination to tackle the problems in his life, including being afraid of the dark and what a balanced diet is. The games were released between 1996 and 2003 and was created by legendary point-and-click game genius Ron Gilbert. Sam is a pretty great protagonist. In these games, they never made him bratty, which a lot of moral storytelling for kids' characters tend to be. He's a simple child who befriends pretty much everyone he comes across, whether they be talking furniture, vehicles, food, or even the things he was scared of in the first place, like darkness. He's a relatable character for the intended audience, without talking down to them or making it out that only bad kids have problems. Looking at you, Bing. So it is easy to follow his journey into his imagination to help him fight whatever is wrong in the world today. This is super important for the adult audience. But these games are edutainment and made for a much younger audience. What keeps them relevant to fans of point and click games no matter the age is that Sam is lovable. He wants to fight darkness because he's afraid of the dark but instantly realises his mistake when he comes face to face with him. He doesn't like thunder and lightning, but after being explained the importance of a good storm, it's 100% okay with it. He's there to teach kids that these things aren't there to frighten you, but the fact he just accepts this and isn't rude or obnoxious makes him likeable, even to adults. That tends to be where kids' shows fail. The characters just aren't likeable because they take the worst of the kids' personality to teach them lessons when in fact just a simple lesson can be taught by a kid who just doesn't know any better without being rude or annoying. But what really makes these games fun? The games are simplistic. They are made for a younger audience with a story that won't be much of anything to someone in their 30s. But at their heart, they are just good old fashioned point and click games. And if anything will ignite the passion for story based adventure games in younger audiences, then these games are it. The simplicity is where, as an adult, you appreciate the games more. As a kid, you'll still be trying to figure out puzzles, but as an adult, you can really enjoy the innocent banter Sam has with the characters in the world, all the witty one liners, and the visual gags which are littered around the world. And I do mean littered in a way that you don't really see in adult point and click games, which rely a lot on dialogue for their jokes. These games, being aimed at an audience that might not be able to get those kind of jokes, make use of every tiny thing you can click. Most things have some sort of animation to change a little bit, which keeps kids busy trying to find all the little secrets and just brings a smile to an adult's face. You'd think the games would be a one and done with such a simplistic puzzle, but they aren't. The joy in these games do come from the story, but Humongous Entertainment also made it so every playthrough is just a little different. Items and characters can be in different places, and the way to solve most puzzles can also be different. It means even if you know what you are doing, you can't just breeze through the game in minutes and chuck it to one side, but need to explore just that little bit more, and even if you do play it to the point you know all the secrets, it still gives it that little bit of value that you don't always see in other games. It also helps that whilst the visual gags are kind of pixel hunting in a way, they have no actual meaning on the game. To keep it simple for the kids, the items are very clear to find and the areas aren't that big, so you don't get that frustration that some of the more adult games have. As a huge point and click fan, there is nothing worse than pixel hunting. The cartoonish animation does help with this, but in general it is just a very fun series of games to navigate through. Each game has its own unique theme and colour palette. I've always preferred the look and feel of no need to hide when it's dark outside, but each game being unique in itself is a big plus. Each one has their own feel and really focuses on an issue at hand and managed to bring light to their topics really well. And that is what Pajama Sam is. So why do I love yes, it? why do you ask? 
I love it for the simplicity, for the stories it tells and the journey you go on. I like seeing all the dumb little things you can click on and Sam's reaction to everything. It's just little things like him telling our all how wood can flow and as they move off seeing the plank he used for proof sink into the abyss that are just super clever and whilst they might not hit the attended audience at times, as an adult you can really appreciate it. Sailboat because I don't have a sail. I know what you mean but technically you should say let's go floating or something like that. Sure, sure, whatever you say. Let's go sailing! Okay. For me, they are classic must-play point-and-click games that really show the very core of why people love this genre. It takes the heart of these games and makes it accessible to everyone without making it too difficult, and it makes sure the humour doesn't go over kids' heads. Hey, look over there! What their sign says! Kidney beans are best. Hey! They do like us after all! There is so much to explore and do from mini games to collecting things on each screen that it keeps you busy and thinking. I love playing crackers and cheese with the toaster or seeing what the different potions do or what I can create with the weather machine. These little touches just make Sam such a precious memory for me. He literally will always have a place in my heart, as does point and click games in general. Going forward, I do want to introduce you to more games I love, many of which are point and click games, so look forward to those going forward. I do have bods of some of the Pajama Sam games up on here if you are interested in seeing me complete the games in one sitting. And I do plan on making some highlight videos for each playthrough. But that is all for me today. Thank you as always for watching this video. One day they might actually look more professional, but who knows. My main job right now is streaming on Twitch, which I do at twitch.tv forward slash worker89. I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays and Sundays starting at 1pm British time. And we play all sorts. As of writing this, we're currently going through the Ace of Objection! the week in Shenmue on Saturdays. While Sundays we tend to focus more on community oriented games. I hope you enjoyed this, look into why I love these games. But until next time, take care. Bye bye. Behind the curtain! Pajama Sam is ready for action! Now I can go upstairs and take care of all this thunder and lightning! I'd better get upstairs and do something about this! <laughs>